Do you ever look at your marriage or at your partner and say, if you would just do things differently, everything would be great? Well, guess what? That's what I'm going to be talking about today. I'm going to be talking about who is the hero, the leader in your marriage. I'm Leslie Dorries, your marriage coach, creator of the Hero Husband Project and owner of Foundations Coaching. And this is the challenge that every relationship gets into. You have a built-in scapegoat, right? It's much easier to look at what your partner is doing than to look at what you're doing. But heroes are people who do things that's hard, that are hard. They're the ones who step up and do the right thing, especially when it's difficult. And I was reminded of this last week when I was basically the referee with two of the, of the couples that I work with. They were yelling at each other. They were calling each other names. They were doing all kinds of stuff. And I'm sitting there going, you guys know better than this. What are you doing? Um, and one of, one of the wives said to me, well, I know I'm not handling this well. I know, I, I know I'm not doing the right thing, but. And I looked at her and I said, and now you're going to tell me why it is okay to do the things that you know do not help your marriage. And what I got back from her was, well, but my husband is calling me names and that's not okay. And I said to her, absolutely, 100%, it is not okay. But what you're doing is also not okay. And as long as you are focused on what it is he's doing and not holding yourself accountable, then nothing is ever going to get better. And what I got back from her was, yeah, but that's not fair. So my clients who know me, and for those of you who don't, I'm in North Carolina, and the only fair that I recognize is what happens on Hillsborough Street in October, which is where we have the state fair. There is no fair. There is doing what is right. And you, know, you could give me all of the excuses as to why it is okay for you to behave badly. And guess what? Nothing is going to change. It's not going to change until you have the courage to start doing what you know works. And that means not calling your partner names. That means letting them go when they are upset and they can't have a conversation with you. It's when they ask for time to think about something you give it to them. And it means that you honor the promises that you made on your wedding day. Now, I have yet to be at a wedding where one partner takes their marriage vows and their marriage vows are, I will do all of these things as long as you do it. Never been at a wedding where that's been what the couples have said to each other, right? You took marriage vows. Are you honoring them? And if you're not, why not? And I know most of you are going to say, well, because my partner. Got it. Except here's the deal. When you behave in the way that you promised you would behave, then that's when you get, you have the opportunity to say to your partner, hey, I'm not doing these things. I'm not yelling at you. I'm not calling you names. I'm not throwing digs at you. This is not okay behavior. But if you're doing it too, you don't have a leg to stand on. I will talk to my clients. They say, you know, if one of your kids you know, if your kids got into a got into a uh, into a fight and were hitting each other, would you accept the answer? Well, so and so hit me first. I've yet to have a parent say, "Yeah, that would work for me." Except that's exactly what you're doing. When you respond to your partner in an unloving and unproductive way, you're part of the problem, 
right? And this isn't to stand on some kind of, oh, I'm better than you are kind of thing, right? But your partner can't make you do anything. They can't make you mad. They can't make you throw things. They can't make you call them names. Those are all choices that you make. Yes, your partner may be doing something that you don't like. If they may be do, doing something that upsets you, absolutely 100%. But what you do in response to that is all on you. And as long as you give yourself permission, like my client did, to say, even though I know this isn't productive, even though I know it's not the right thing to do, I'm going to do it anyway, then you own what your relationship looks like. And if you want it to be better, then you have to do things that will make it better. Number one is learning to manage your own emotions, right? I'm guilty of that for, for many, many years. I would just erupt. And it wasn't okay. And I had to learn I'm doing damage. Didn't mean I couldn't be bothered by things. It just meant I had to handle them differently. And the thing is, is that most of us, need to learn how to handle things differently. And that's especially true in our marriages, right? Because the most contempt I've ever seen has been between two people who promise to love, honor, and cherish each other, right? And contempt, treating each other with contempt, calling each other names should have no place in your marriage. So if it does, I invite you to get in touch with me and let's fix that. Okay, and it isn't about focusing on, on your partner. Yes, there's things your partner needs to be doing differently, 100%, absolutely. But the first place to start is with you. So if you're interested, put a comment down below, send me an email at leslie at foundations coaching NC, or direct message me, but get in touch with me because you do not want this to continue. And until next week, stay loving.